I just took a turn for the world And lately I'm not being hurt I'm over you I'm over you What's good, DI Squad? We are back with another video And today I'm doing something a little different, y'all I just woke up, as you can see It is really, really quiet out still still hear the birds chirping. Um, you can still see the dew and, and the uh, moisture on the grass and the, the greenery. But I just woke up, you guys. I had a bad dream, man. I I had a dream about my, my sister, Michaela, y'all. I don't normally have nightmares or bad dreams. Like, I'm older now. Like, I can watch Freddy Krueger and, like, Jason and, like, little Chucky don't scare me no more. I used, to, I used to hate little stuffed animals. And if I had them in my room, I'd turn them around so they wasn't looking at me. Chuck, Chucky had me, Chucky had me on one. But I just woke up, you guys, and I just really miss, miss my family. I miss my, I miss having all my brothers and sisters around me. Um, I miss watching my nephews and nieces grow up. Um, I've been to California about, three, four times in 10 years. So can you imagine like my little nephews and nieces growing up? And they do grow up fast and I'm not there to actually watch them grow up. I'm not there to like play ball with them or teach them how to skate or help them with their homework or even give them advice like um, uncles do or brothers do. Um, it's just killing me all, man. I don't know if y'all know, but Michaela, my little sister. Y'all know her as she's Michaela. Anyway, Michaela got me in this YouTube thing, that y'all. Michaela got me doing this YouTube stuff. Um, she had moved out here uh, with Nate for a while. Uh, they was doing it then. They had a nice, nice crib downtown Houston. Four-story crib. Motherfucker had an elevator in it. It was stole. Uh, but they start having problems, whatever issues, like all couples do. Um, and I was, I tried to be there for her. Like she was there for me. And um, she taught me everything I know about this YouTube stuff. When I say everything, you guys, she taught me everything. No, everything. And I don't even know that much. I'm still beginning it. We're still new with this YouTube stuff. So first off, shout out to my sister, Michaela. I love you. All my other sisters and brothers. Um, but anyway, y'all, this is this is just a, I guess you could say it's a vlog, just to see um, how I'm feeling right now. And I'm feeling real lonely. Michaela was the only sister I had in Texas. Texas is big, y'all. It's a big state. She was the only family I had here, besides my current um, familia with my wife, you know, Iris. But... I just woke up this morning feeling I'm just I'm just like lonely because anytime I had a question about YouTube or I had a question about you know anything, anything, a personal question, a question about do these Gucci sandals go with go go with this uh, Nike shirt? The answer can be no, but I just had questions like that, and the kids were knowledgeable. I missed her. Um, me and her have a little bit of a, uh, a history that I cannot forget. Like one, changing your diapers. Like two, staying home to go to parties when I could be partying with them, but I had to stay home and watch you. So I could have been going out to parties and doing this and that, but I had to stay home and watch the kids. I mean, I used to spend so much time with Michaela. It was, it was like, I was definitely the older brother, like don't mess with her. Um, that's my little sis. You got beef with, you got beef with my little sis, you got beef with me, so back on up. I was real um, protective and I tried to teach her as much of, uh, of the game and school her as best as I could because, you know, uh, ain't nothing better than getting the game from your older brother. But this is one of my favorite pictures, you guys. I'm actually gonna uh, uh, drop it right now. Okay, that picture right there, you guys, is me in 1995. So, Michaela was, I was 15, she was probably 
three, two, and we were in Catalina Island in California. And she was so scared that my mom um, gave her to me to hold because she was like scared of the water. We were actually on a glass bottom boat. Um, and they have all sorts of things to do there, like the, uh, the cathedral, they got um, golf courses, they got jet skis, all kind of good stuff to do, but snorkeling. But yeah, I was holding her on the glass bottom boat and it, you could see it by her face and my face that I was in tune with her. She was sad, I was sad. Well, I was really having a blast, but I was making it seem like, you know, oh, you, you know, big bro's um, not happy too. You know, I don't like this water either, but that's how close me and my sister Michaela were. I, I, I love her and I love all my sisters and brothers, but I wish any of my sisters and brothers were here, but I miss her because we actually had some good times together and then she just left, went back to California. So, um, hope everything worked out with her. I love you, Michaela, hope everything good. Call your brother, hit me up anytime. You know I'm here for you and I still remember um, uh, you know, what we got going on as far as our agreements and whatnot. I love you, and I hope everybody's staying safe. Hope everybody's doing good with this COVID. I hope everything's getting kind of back to normal, which it is, but um, other than that, y'all, that's it. Just thankful, and I miss my sister. Hope everybody, uh, uh, if y'all have loved ones and y'all didn't get a chance to, to, to say goodbye before they left or before they, they left this earth, um, go ahead and do it. Do it now. Tell them you love them. Tell them you miss them. Tell them you appreciate them because tomorrow's not promised, y'all. And we know with this COVID thing, anything can happen. So make sure we all uh, just uh, have a good time uh, making memories with the, the loved ones that we do have and uh, appreciate them because uh, you never know when you're going to go. So, yeah. Yeah, y'all. I guess... I guess I'm just lonely, man. I just, I just miss, I, I, I just miss all my family, all my family, all my brothers and sisters. I miss my mom and dad. I miss just, I, I miss my nephews and nieces. I miss everybody. I miss everybody. All, all my friends from back home. Um, but just my sister, especially you guys, because we had such a good time. I mean, she's the one who actually introduced me to a lot of these YouTubers, these big namers, y'all, like the Prince family. She introduced me to Bianca and Damien. I got to do uh, the little show with them and stay in a, a big, big mansion for a few days and met some of the coolest YouTubers, y'all. Some of the dopest YouTubers out right now. Some of the most lit ones, y'all. I mean, I, I mean, she introduced me to like, like Neek and King, like Carmen and Corey, Em and Vaughn, uh, of course, Nate, you know, he wasn't on that show, but I mean, from Nate's life, um, Joel and his girl, um, of course, Damien and Bianca. I mean, this is like a lot of these YouTubers, and there was more of them, I just came and raw their names, but it's like that experience in alone, that experience in itself alone is, is like, it's priceless. And not just that, but I mean, she taught me a lot, y'all. She taught me like, but uh, I just miss my sister, you guys. I miss having somebody here that's, that's close, that's, you know, a hop, skip away, not, um, 1500 miles, uh, you know, like 19 hours away, you know, so I just miss my family, y'all, and give y'all, I just wanted to give y'all a little bit inside of what I'm thinking, what, what just was going on in my head, how I was tripping when I woke up, because, you know, like in this dream that I had, like, like she was, it, it was like, it was real dark, first off. And it was like, it had like a four setting. I don't know where it was, but like, it was like, I seen this cabin and she was there. And then there was a whole bunch of people there, but I was like way like far back. And I was trying to get to that cabin. I seen the light, but I'm in the woods and I was like kind of walking in the dark. I felt lonely. It was like an eerie, gloomy kind of feeling. Like I felt alone. And it was just crazy y'all. Cause like, like that's how I really, like that's how I really feel right now. I'm the only, um, I, I have no family in Texas besides my family here uh, with my um, with my girl. Like I said, like it's, it's just it's just crazy, y'all, to to just wake up and just like I miss all my like I said I miss all my family members. I, I got I got a lot of them, but just me and my sister were so close. Like I just remember this one time, this one time we went bowling. This is when Michaela at first uh, got to Houston. I think I believe uh, we went bowling and. Um, 
you know, you could drink at the bowling alley. And it was just us, me and my sister. Um, you know, Dom was there and Iris. And, you know, have y'all ever had that time where y'all just, y'all have like a group of people and y'all just start laughing at what it, whatever it was. It could have been a joke or someone did something, someone fell, someone uh, uh, farted, whatever. And y'all just start laughing y'all off. Your cheeks hurt, your stomach hurt. Y'all just, just laughed and like, for like minutes and minutes and you just it was like one of those moments yes that's the kind of like moments me and my sister had we was at the bowling alley drunk i think we shut that down last one's in there but we all had a great time and that's the kind of memories we had along with a lot of other memories but that's just something that i do just uh you know i i, I think about all the time because you know she got me into this youtube stuff like i said so i got i got much love much love to her um, I was just at Em and Vaughn's yesterday. Shout out to Em and Vaughn. We chopped it up and they gave me some uh, some valuable insight and whatnot. It's crazy. I, I just wish I had my family here. That's it. Your boy D. Your boy D sad. That's it, y'all. You know. But anyway, y'all, if y'all haven't already, please subscribe to the Maxwell Family channel. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. That's the bell sign. That way we do drop a video. Y'all can be the first to know when we are the first to blow. Thirdly, give a thumbs up if you like this video. Other than that, y'all, I hope y'all are staying safe. Y'all have a blessed, wonderful day. Um, keep your head up. Social distance. Sanitize up. Stay positive. Maxwell family, we out.